today we are at Sandwich Bay with Jacob Smith over there. Obviously tide's going out, we've got probably about two to three hours before the tide's totally out. And yeah, we'll see what we find today. We've been here a couple of times, found a lot of military pro uh, items, bullets, shells, fuse heads. So we'll wait and see what we find. Obviously the tide's there. And you just get turning and dropping off. It goes out quite quickly here, so we'll see what we can find today. Put it case, sorry, put it head. In uh, quite deep, still got copper coatings. Quite nice in condition. A lot of the grey black sands, obviously being well preserved. It was at a 18, jumping about a bit high, 18, 20. Found some other bits of uh, stuff. Bits of copper, which obviously probably for brass and copper. Found a bit of a fuse as well. I think. It's also coated in black. That is a bit of a shattered fuse head. Clean all this off when we get home, and I'll show you in the roundup what it looks like before and after pictures. Right, tyres going out now quite a bit. On to the next one. Previous clip. It's also a bit of a fuse again. A bit shattered, a bit sharp as well. Be nice to find a whole one. Right, on to the next one. Let's fill my hole in first. Just dug this out of this hole, 33. Got some markings on there. Jacob's got a target down there, he can't get out. This one, E22, actuated.
out. Digging for one little bullet head. <laughs> Dug out this out of that same hole. Sorry, but old, I bet. Preserved in the sand. Probably black sand. Right, on to the next hole. It's a quick roundup video of what we found um, in Sandwich Bay. A couple of days after, thank you, Doc. Um, obviously, got some nice bits of fuses. Got these ones here, which are obviously fuses covered in. That's that creation. Cre I can't even say it. But got build up of corrosion and stuff on it. So my dog wants to play ball. Um, got some nice bits of shrapnel. Got a few bullets. I don't know what this was, but this is really heavy. There's no n figures or numbers, or it's only that only thing on it is that line in the middle there. So I don't know what that is at all. It's solid though, weighs a lot. So these just bits of aluminium, I guess, probably thick aluminium. It's got corrosion and it's, like it's got a nail sticking out of that one. So, I've got this one here, I'm just going to show you, obviously I've got the wrong hammer really for this because this is a club hammer, but I'm just going to break some of this stuff off so you can see what it comes up, what's underneath it, get your nose out of the way, I need to have a little hammer for this, so as you can see this is the start of the fuse, Starting to show. So obviously it is one of these, more of a whole one. Let's try this one. So again, there's the tip, tip of the fuse. You just have a little, little, little hammer, and I just chip away at it. And now I get a bit like a wire brush tool attachment from the drill and I'll put that on there and it cleans it up quite well eventually they'll be sort of like a bit like this found lots of bullets obviously some bits of copper or brass sheets whether these I think they might patch boats up didn't they in the olden days with bits of copper and brass sheets and that's it really not not really any coins or anything, just lots of bits of ivory, you don't know what it is. Another nice bit of copper, a bit of wire, bullets, on one button, modern day button. So thanks for watching, if you're going out hunting this weekend, have a great weekend. And stay safe and thanks for watching, please hit the subscribe button.